So I may be an old guy, but you know, I still like my tunes. So here's what we're gonna be throwing into the taco. We got a 11 inch Zhou Ying um, head unit here. Let's look, they spent no extra money on packaging here. Just a plain white box. And let's see what we got here. Dun, 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 dun. Big tablet screen. Okay, so we're gonna put this touch screen in here. We got a tailgate handle uh, original style backup camera. So we're gonna replace our tailgate handle and it's gonna have a camera and it will run that wire up to the new head unit. So we'll have backup camera. The old five base model didn't have that. We got some speaker boxes for six by nines to put behind the seat. This, this base model only came with door speakers. And then we got some brand new uh, Rockford Fosgate six by nine speakers. So like I said, we're putting this in our little base model, single cab, 05 model, which no frills whatsoever. I have already upgraded the door speaker. So we have a, a six and a half inch speaker down here and a tweeter up here. Those have new Rockford Fosgates in on both sides. I've already installed those. Made a big difference over the original crummy factory speakers. And then we're gonna replace this head unit, which had a CD player and a radio, and that's basically it. And the CD player doesn't work, so. We're down to radio only. So we're gonna take all that out, replace it with that big touch screen, run us some six by nines in boxes behind these seats. So we'll have four speakers, two doors, two backs, front and rear, which gives us a lot better sound quality. And we'll have navigation with maps, we'll have Bluetooth for our phone connectivity and for talking on the phone hands-free. Uh, we'll have all kinds of options for around 600 bucks so how are you going to beat that what an upgrade for the taco let's go there's a million videos online that show you how to do this but we're going to pull off this air conditioner control four bolts out of this pull the head unit out unplug everything and then the new unit is supposed to be plug and play there's going to have to be a few things we have to tie into like i want to tie into a wire down here that gives me a feed for the reverse so when we put the truck into reverse gear the backup camera will uh ignite and show on the screen. I think I know where that is. I'll show you where that little connection is to be made. And then I've got a, I've got a hook to this wiring harness, some rear speakers, because this unit, this, this truck does not have rear speakers. So we've got to figure out where those plug in. So let's get this yanked out of here. Ready, set. And there you go. So everything's unplugged. I did have a Bluetooth unit in here, which is this guy right here, which the new unit has that built in, so I'll yank that out as well. Now on the original unit, I did have a clock down here at the bottom. This is all the options my truck has. Hazard light and a clock. Temperature, no. Uh, passenger seat belt on, or you know, is your airbag gonna work? So I gotta take this little piece right here out and slip it into the new one which is pretty simple. Two screws in here, way down in there, you can see them. One over there, one over there. Pull this bottom unit out and plug it into the new unit, let's go. Okay, finally liberated this from the original head unit. No small feat, but anyway, that's what you gotta get out, just get this old unit out. And we'll plug that into our new head unit. So let's look at what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see down here on the bottom, it has a provision for this to snap in from the back and then retain the original functionality of this high-tech piece of hardware right here. Okay, this guy has some little snaps right here and right over here. It should just snap back down to this little hole, fit it right in there, and snap it home. Click, 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 there you go. All right. Okay, so here's our wiring we get. We gotta get hooked up. We've got a 4G antenna, I suppose for a Wi-Fi. Not certain why there's two of them. We'll figure that out. And then we got 
GPS antenna, which we'll put up on our dash. And it's got, at least both have, this one's magnetic. Find a place to stick that. These two have two-sided sticky tape on them. Got two USB uh, extension cables. Probably run these over to the glove box. If that way, if you want to plug a flash drive or some other kind of media storage device into the unit, you can. Um, and then we've got this wiring harness. We actually have two wiring harnesses here. Not sure what this little guy's for, but uh, we'll figure that out. Let's see, antenna. So, um, and then we've got this guy. Now, you know, one of the things that they paid close attention to is they foam wrapped all these little connectors. So you don't get that annoying rattling in your dashboard, these little things bouncing off of stuff. It's got a little foam around it. So some of this stuff will get plugged in. Some of these plugs I'll have. Some of these plugs I won't have. For instance, my truck does not have any steering wheel controls. And so the plug for that won't get used. So I've got to figure out which one of these plugs here, these wires, go to rear speakers. Figure out which plug that goes to. And I've got to hook that into the, the original truck uh, plug because it's going to be missing those, I'm afraid. So let's go see if we can figure this out. It's supposed to be plug and play. Let's go. Okay, the GPS antenna just comes with a magnet, which I'm not really that keen on. So I have some of these sticky pads left over from another project. I think I'm going to put them way up under here as high as I can so that the antenna will be right here in the center on top of the dashboard. I have my other two antennas glued to this uh, piece of plastic up here. So I think I'll put that one right behind that and put them on with these sticky pads instead of a magnet. Okay, now we're going to look at our backup camera here. We're going to put this in. And I'm just going to hook it up without installing it in the truck first, just to make sure, you know, I can point it at it or whatever, just to make sure it works. But this is kind of funny. Check this out. E-Way tailgate backup camera. A proficient safety brand. Not an excellent, uh, superb, but it's proficient. It's it's good enough, is what it says. <laughs> Let's see what you get in your proficient camera. Okay, tailgate camera. And then, ooh, get quite a bit of cable. That might actually stretch all the way to the front of the truck. So, it's pretty good. Way to go, Amazon. Here's our tailgate cam. Got the camera there kind of offset a little bit on the tailgate. And this should snap right into place on the original um, tailgate hardware. But for now, we're just going to hook it up as is and see, do it work. Also, it looks like they give you enough wire to hook this up to a semi truck too so probably got 25 foot of wire here so a little a little much more than we need but we'll just bundle it so up backup camera's pretty simple i'm not sure what these two guys here go to but you've got the camera feed wire this black wire and you've got a red and black wire which you're going to tie to your reverse lights so the black is going to ground and the red will go to your hot uh reverse light your backup light and then on the other end we have video, the yellow, and then we've got that little red wire, which is the trigger wire. You hook that up to your, whenever you're in reverse, there's a signal comes uh, to the system, turns the camera on, and that'll be tied in. in the okay, camera. it's day two of our technology upgrade on the taco here. We've got our camera installed, which is just a drop-in, plug-and-play kind of deal here. Um, I'm going to run a wire down here, maybe out the bottom of the tailgate. And then tie that in. We've got a video cable, and then we got to tie in a uh, power on and a power off to the backup lights. Now I'm going to—I have a new bumper on here, and I haven't wired these backup lights in yet. So I'm going to wire the camera to those backup lights, and all of that I'm going to wire to the reverse lights on the truck. So let's go. Okay, we got it pulled through the tailgate here. And then we put a grommet here so we don't get any abrasion on that wire. And then this will just run down here and tie in. I'll zip tie it to the old trailer light wire there. Pretty clean little install then. There's one thing on this reverse camera that I'm not too crazy about. See that gap under there? There's a gap underneath the, right across the bottom here that doesn't fill in. I guess what I'll do is run me a little bead of silicone across there to keep water and dirt from getting in there okay here's a little six by nine speaker boxes sitting back there when the seat's all the way back can't really go anywhere so that's where it's going to live okay here's your mid install report now if you're doing one of these trucks 
This is a base model, no rear speakers, and you're putting like some six by nines in boxes like I am in a bag. You're like, where do I wire in rear speakers? I'm gonna show you, okay? There's a plug, comes off the back of this joying unit, okay? And it's this green and green and purple and purple. One has a black strap, one is not on both of them. The black is ground. That goes to the rear speakers. That's the rear speaker harness. So in your truck up here, now you can see I've got some wires right there that are cut, okay? There's a harness that plugs into this. I think my Nissan, or my Nissan, I'm sorry, blasphemy. My Toyota came with a harness for, wired for rear speakers, but I didn't have any. Well, versus just seeing where that plug went, I just cut it off, y'all. And here it is. This is the plug that used to be up there. Had black and cream colored wires on it and red wire. And I made me a little harness on this. And this, this these two right here go to the uh, right speaker. These two over here go to the left speaker. And I made me some plugs on the end, a male and a female, so I can't get those confused. Did the same thing on my two speaker wires. And all I got to do is run them hot, ground, hot, ground, uh, and plug that in. And then I got rear speakers uh, with a factory plug. So I think my these wires didn't go anywhere on my base model. And so that's what I chose to do. This, this wire here is not hooked up to anything. No idea what that would go to, but on my truck, on the radio, there's this pin right here, that second pin over, nothing's hooked to it on the radio on this harness. This is the one that plugs into this plug and there's nothing on that plug. So I just left that one off. So all I gotta do is run my wire up to this and now I got rear speakers and uh, that little thing is checked off the list. Okay, here's a negative for this install. I see a lot of guys installing this online and they just use these clip holes with these press in clips to hold it in place. I can't get it to stay in there. It wants to spring back out of the hole. So unless you use the original brackets that came on the original radio that were bolted in that kept it in the dash, I don't know how you keep it in there other than that. The bad news is these freaking brackets don't line up with any of the holes on the side of this radio. So my solution is this, right? The, the pegs keep it from moving up and down. I put a rivet in here so when I bolt this bracket in, that's going to keep the radio in the dash. These guys will keep it in position, and then maybe this rivet will uh, secure it. This just barely has a little lip down here. I don't even have enough to put a rivet in this down here. So really, that's the only place that I can get a rivet in the, you know, enough material. So that's my solution to the problem. I'm fixing to do the other side. We'll see how that works. All right, those of you on the internet, on YouTube, that said this is a plug-and-play operation, y'all didn't mount this right. Notice I've got the original brackets back in on both of them that mount to the joying radio. That was a pain in the rear end. But this dude is in there now. I mean, it's solid. It's not loosey-goosey. If you just rely just on those clips and just push it in, I think if you were in a hard acceleration, the whole thing would just fall out of the dash. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. So put a couple pop rivets on there and held these brackets to that side panel on here. Line them back up. And got them bolted in. That is not for the faint of heart, okay? That's not a rookie move there, I guarantee you. So anyway, there it is, all installed. Now all i got to do is put the rest of my bits back together. This has turned into a three-day three install, too, by the way. <laughs> okay, taco lovers. Moment of truth. She's all back together again. We'll see what happens. Uh, this better work. <laughs> Here we go. Key on. Oh, we must be in reverse. Look, our backup camera came on. There goes the car. Nice. Going out of reverse. <gasps> Here we go. All right. Lots of cool things to show you. Lots of features. Calculator, 23 times two. Better say 46, right? 46. Hey, man. Come back. Keep following the channel here. In a few months, I'm going to give you a what do I think about it. 
I have no idea. Let's just put it in. There's a million point seven things on here. And I don't know what any of them are. So follow and uh, we'll have a little review on it coming up quick. So if you decide to take on the stereo, understand that it is not easy to install as far as the mounting it. If you just rely on the pressing clips, I don't think it's good enough. So that was difficult. The rest of it, the wiring part was pretty easy. I had to tie in a one wire, which was the, the uh, signal wire when you put it in reverse. That was pretty easy to find. You can find it on the internet. It's a red and white wire under the kick panel of the driver's door. Um, but I put a backup camera, ran it all the way up and in. I put ditch lights on. I put backup lights on. I put rear speakers in. Um, this was a big project. I did a lot of things, but I hope it's good and I'm going to enjoy it. So anyway, follow me back and uh, we'll do a review video here in a couple months. Thanks for watching.